it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so uh, the theme for the videos that have just come about have been about a new awakening that I've had in the last two weeks. Now, funny enough, the thoughts for this video were, you know, I've spent 30 years of my life, 30 years, worrying about things that never happen. 95% of them never happen. And I have spent sleepless nights, sometimes for weeks, worrying and worrying because what if that happens? What if that happens? What if I lose this? What if I lose that? What if I can't do this anymore? What if I can't do that anymore? <clears throat> 30 years. And it wasn't until my very last mental breakdown, as I call it, you know, two weeks ago, which really more than a breakdown was a break through. Because I just remember this night thinking, I have had enough. I've had enough. I don't want to have these thoughts anymore. I don't want to think like this anymore. I don't wait. I don't want to waste any more time with these thoughts that just flood my mind and keep me up nights and stress me out about stuff that's never going to happen. It only just occurred to me in this last week. All this stuff I've been worrying about has never happened. Has never happened, but I've got all this drama playing over and over and over again in my mind. <clears throat> you know, all this drama, all these things that are going to happen, all these things that are going to go wrong, and what am I going to do? So that has been my breakthrough in the last two weeks. And from that breakthrough, I stumbled upon or I came across, or maybe it was just my time to finally start reading this book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I think it was just my time. It's exactly what I needed to make this final breakthrough into my awareness into being awake because even though the last five years I feel like I've been awakening you know but I still feel for the most part that I'm still I was still asleep I was still sleepwalking I wasn't fully awake I still felt like I was off track that there was something not no it's just I'm not there yet I just felt that way I'm not there yet And then it just all came together. It just all came together. The power of now. When we observe children, if you pay attention because they are here to teach you. And I know a lot of adults seem to think it's the other way around. But we've forgotten. We've forgotten how to live. They know. They live every moment in that moment. They don't squander that moment thinking about something that's going to happen tomorrow and they don't squander that moment thinking about something that happened five minutes ago I discussed that in a previous video how quickly a child will get upset about something and five minutes later they'll all be friends and they'll all be carrying on like it never happened they don't hold on to grudges they don't hold on to things the reason these become issues for us as adults is because it's a repeated pattern. It's something that happens over and over again as we are children, that we start to make a decision about ourselves because of these experiences that happen to us over and over again. It's usually with an adult around us, a grown up or someone older than us that we're looking up to. And they make us feel this way. They may make us feel that we're not worthy. They may make us feel that we're not good enough. They may make us feel unwanted and invisible and all these wonderful things that take us away from who we really are inside. And so we spend a whole lifetime, 30 years plus, looking, looking 
outside, trying to figure out who we are, why we're here. What's the point? But a child will easily show you, a five, six year old child, this is the moment. It is the only moment. What you are experiencing now. That's why I keep saying to everybody, don't wait till tomorrow because you don't know if you've got tomorrow. If you have someone that you want to apologize to, if you have someone that you need to say, I love you, they may not know that you love them. You assume they do by all your actions, by all your words, by things that you've done for them. They may not know. I didn't. For over 30 years, I didn't know. My mum loved me. And then one day it just magically happened in a dream. It came to me and I realised she must have loved me all along, all this time that I've been living under that illusion that she didn't love me. She has always loved me, always. But I didn't know that. So don't assume that others do know. Let them know. Because this moment is all you have. You don't know if you've got the next moment. You don't. We don't know when it's our time. We have a time to arrive and we have a time to leave. And this moment is all you have to make that difference in someone else's life and to make that difference in your life. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And let me know in the comments. How many things have you worried about for years and years and years and stressed about? And they've never happened. <laughs> they've never happened. And yet we spend all this energy, all this time, flustered about it, not sleeping over it. <clears throat> how many things? For how many years? And they never happen. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.